Deep in the heart of the Large Hadron Collider near Geneva, Switzerland, scientists have embarked on a journey to unlock the secrets of the universe. They've searched for the elusive Higgs boson, a particle that holds the key to understanding the universe itself. And after years of tireless experimentation, the impossible became possible. They finally discovered it. They uncovered a piece of the cosmic puzzle that had eluded us for decades. But what even is the Higgs boson? And why has that changed our understanding of the universe forever? And should you even care? Yes, you should. Just stick with me here. First of all, according to the standard model of physics, the universe is made up of tiny building blocks called particles. You know those, protons, neutrons, and morons. Wait, probably not that last one. Let's scratch it. Anyway, the Higgs boson is the fundamental particle associated with the Higgs field. A field that gives mass to other fundamental particles, such as electrons and quarks. Which is not the sound that a duck makes, but close. First of all, let's describe the Higgs field. This is one of the fundamental fields of the universe, just like the electromagnetic field, for example, the one that gives us light and electricity. It's like a big, invisible ocean of energy that fills all of the space around us. And just like a real ocean, it has waves and currents. But instead of water, the Higgs field is made up of Higgs bosons. Now imagine you're a tiny little particle swimming through this ocean. Just like a boat in the water, you'll feel resistance as you move through the Higgs field. Some of these particles are like speedboats. They can zip through the Higgs field without feeling much resistance at all. And others, for example the W and Z bosons, are more like giant cruise ships. They're big and heavy, so they feel a lot of resistance as they move through the Higgs field. And that resistance is what gives particles mass. The speedboats that slide easily don't pick up any mass, but giant cruise ships interact with the field more strongly and pick up a lot of mass. Now let's describe that more, you know, scientifically. When a particle interacts with the Higgs field, it creates a disturbance in the field, and this disturbance can be thought of as a Higgs boson. And the disturbance that it creates in the Higgs field is what gives mass to the interacting particle. Basically, without this field and the Higgs boson, tiny blocks of our universe, like protons and neutrons, wouldn't have the mass they need to make up atoms. Atoms wouldn't be able to form molecules. And without molecules, you wouldn't have anything. No matter, no stars, no planets, no life as we know it. Not even bright side. Ooh, makes me shudder. So not only is the Higgs boson incredibly important, but it's also mysterious and fascinating. That's where it got its beautiful, holy nickname from. The Higgs boson was first proposed in the 1960s by a physicist Peter Higgs. Good thing his last name wasn't Bozo. Imagine the Bozo boson. Anyway, Dr. Higgs was part of the group of brilliant scientists who were seeking to understand all the different types of particles that make it up. They noticed that some of them, like the photon, which carries light, don't have mass. But others, like the W and Z bosons, do. And they were like, wait a minute, how is this possible? That's when they generated two ideas, the Higgs boson and the Higgs field. But in order to confirm this theory, we needed some proof. And since we can't see the invisible field itself, we needed to find and track at least one Higgs boson. And finding it was an incredibly hard task. Like a real-life game of Where's Waldo? All because the Higgs boson is very rare, very short-lived, and doesn't interact with other particles very often. Yep, it's just like me at parties. The Higgs boson is born when a particle passes through the Higgs field and decays almost immediately after that. Now, you may remember how much the science world rejoiced when they were finally able to discover it. That's because it took decades. First of all, this task was taken up by CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research. They were using the Large Hadron Collider, or the LHC for short. This is the largest and most powerful particle accelerator in the world, located near Geneva, Switzerland. It smashes protons together at incredibly high speeds, recreating conditions that existed just after the Big Bang. This giant machine tries to find new particles and helps us to understand the universe better. 
Anyway, the team at CERN used the LHC to generate trillions of proton collisions, searching for the telltale signs of the Higgs boson. But with so many collisions happening at once, it was like searching for a needle in the haystack the size of a small country. The search for the Higgs boson was a long and exciting journey that took decades of work and the collaboration of thousands of scientists from all over the world. And after years of searching, they finally found it. The evidence of the Higgs boson. The discovery was announced on July 4, 2012, and it was major news in the science world. It was celebrated by a lot of parties and events in CERN. But it wasn't over yet. The discovery of the Higgs boson had to be confirmed. So the scientists continued to study it and collect more data. And in 2013, they announced that the Higgs boson had been confirmed with a high level of certainty. This discovery was a really big deal because it confirmed a key part of the standard model of physics. The standard model of particle physics is the theory that explains how the universe works at its most basic level. It's a way for scientists to keep track of all the different types of particles and how they interact with each other. And the Higgs boson is like the VIP at this particle party. It's a crucial part of the standard model. Not only does it help to confirm the standard model, but it also highlights the need for new theories and models to explain what the standard model can't. Without the Higgs boson, the standard model wouldn't make sense, and scientists would have to come up with a whole new theory to explain why particles have mass. But with this holy particle, everything fell into place and the standard model was complete. It was like solving a giant puzzle, or finding a glue that holds the universe together. Now, the discovery of the Higgs boson was a huge breakthrough for physics, but it also opened up new questions and possibilities for future research. So, what's next? Well, just like any good puzzle, there are always more pieces to find and more mysteries to uncover. Scientists in LHC continue their research and experiments with the Higgs boson. They're collecting data and analyzing it to better understand the properties of this particle. They're looking at how it interacts with other particles, how it decays, and even how it behaves in different conditions. Also, the standard model explains a lot of what we observe in the universe, but it still has some gaps. For example, right now, it can't explain things like dark matter and dark energy. So we've created another area of research the potential new physics beyond the standard model of particle physics. This new area should include things like dark matter and gravity. And some scientists believe that the Higgs boson could become a crucial part of it. It could hold the key to understanding all these mysterious phenomena. To find out if that's really the case, scientists are currently searching for other particles that could be associated with the Higgs field such as the Higgsinos. They would be a new type of particle that could help explain, for example, how dark matter works. And lastly, researchers are also looking at the Higgs boson's role in the early universe. We want to see how it may have played a part in the formation of galaxies, stars, and even life as we know it. It's like a time machine that helps us understand how the universe came to be. So, all in all, the discovery of the Higgs boson opened a door to a whole new world of possibilities, and scientists are having a blast exploring all the new questions and mysteries that come with it. It's like a treasure map, pointing us to new mysteries to uncover and new theories to explore. Hey, perhaps there is a bozo boson after all. <laughs> That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.